I heard someone say the other day that it is not always the case that people do not have strong boundaries when they enter a relationship with a narcissist, but rather that being with a narcissist kind of slowly makes them disappear, but in a very covert way. And to be honest, this totally made sense to me. And I'm not saying that I was 100% there boundary wise, but looking back uh, on myself before the narcissist era, I used to have much stronger boundaries and I had a very clear sense of what I wanted and did not want for myself and what I would and would not put up with. Obviously at that time I was dating healthy men who were kind and nice and respectful of my boundaries. So in a sense you could say that my boundaries were simply not challenged in that way. But then again we all know how manipulative narcissists are and that crossing a boundary usually does not happen in that slap in the face obvious type of way. I've heard this sentence so many times. I've heard people say, if that person would have hurt me or hit me, I would have left immediately. And this I feel is the thing with narcissistic abuse because the abuse was so subtle and it increased so covertly, it was hard to recognize, but it was also hard to recognize that our boundaries were pushed in that sense. So it is often by looking back at the relationship that you realize how many boundaries were crossed. And it's a shocking experience because you end up asking yourself questions like, how did I ever agree to this? But the reality is you did not. Often the boundary pushing comes in the form of help. The narcissist is asking for help and you do not want to let that person down. You are loving this person deeply and therefore you start helping him. But at the same time, you're not doing that one thing that was going to build you up. Or the boundary pushing comes in the form of emotional manipulation. Let's say the narcissist has really hurt you by saying something really hurtful. And then when you respond to it, they play the victim or they manipulate you. Whereas if the narcissist would have just been honest and said, I'm not going to take responsibility for hurting you, then you would have immediately felt that there was a boundary crossed and you'd have taken action. But because there's a lack of clarity and so much confusion going on, it kind of puts us in a gray area constantly. Because how are you supposed to set a strong boundary? If you are doubting yourself or if you're doubting reality or if this person is saying, oh no, you, you didn't hear that right. You misunderstood what I said. How are you supposed to yell or break up with a person if you keep hearing that, that you misunderstood? And if that person is saying, oh, sweetie, no, 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 that's not what I said. <gasps> so instead of breaking up or yelling back or fighting back, you go inward, you question yourself. And this is the issue with narcissistic abuse. It is only after the abuse has increased so much and only after you've been hearing that you misunderstood for so many times, you start to think something's wrong and you start to record conversations maybe, but it's only then really that you know it's not you and you can set a boundary. And other than that, narcissists, they are infamous for breaking your boundaries down. If you were to say no to them, they guilt trip you, they confuse you, they punish you, they make you feel like you're a completely selfish person and not, a good, not an okay person to be around. So it is very easy for people to say, this would have never happened to me, I would have left sooner. I'm sure that a lot of us feel that we would have said the same thing if we hadn't been in a relationship like this ourselves. I have now learned that protecting my own boundaries is based on my own feeling. So this could be, for instance, I do not want to be neglected and keep wondering why that is a boundary. Or I do not want to lose so much energy in this relationship, but it keeps happening. That is a boundary. Or this person keeps misunderstanding me and I do not feel validated. Why? That is not a boundary. And this is the thing with narcissistic abuse, because normally we would base 
our boundaries on the actions of others. But in reality of gaslighting, that is too easy to miss. So we need to make sure that our boundaries are based on ourselves, on our feelings. So I hope this was helpful. And if it was, or if you have anything to add, let me know in the comments. And um, I felt happy to share this with you and uh, hope to see you soon. Bye bye.